tripod. I don't know how many of you knew this, but I have been filming my videos um, against a candle. So this is new. Do you hate it? We'll find out. January's over and this video's new. This is not my typical January wrap up as I'm sure you can tell by the title. Let's, uh, let's have a little truth talk for a second. I do not love filming wrap ups and to be totally transparent, they don't do that well on my channel. I think those two things may be connected, so I wanted to try something new, and this is the something new. And to be totally honest, I have sort of taken a similar take on my Instagram, where I started Instagram with like my personal Instagram for so long, and then it just sort of evolved into a bookstagram, and I'm sort of backpedaling from that a little bit and showing a little bit more of everything that I love and I'm interested in. So with that, I thought I would do just an overall January monthly favorites. These are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, so I thought I would give it a try. We'll see how it goes because I certainly don't know everything about anything. So these are just purely my opinions. Send help, we'll see how this goes. What I feel like you can generally expect from these is that I'll always have a favorite book of the month, I'll always have a favorite pin, likely, and I may always have like a favorite movie. Also, depending on how well I keep up with it, I may have like a favorite bullet journal spread or something along those lines. Wrinkled in with those things will likely be some just like miscellaneous items that I liked or that I get a lot of questions about, either on Instagram or here, so bear with me. We'll see, we'll see, this is new to me too. So let's just kick it off with my favorite book of this month. I read so many good ones this month, this was not the easiest decision, but also it kind of was because I really loved this. And it is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things. Ooh, this is a feeler. What else is new? Nothing. It's a new year. Same, same, same. I happened to read a lot of different emotional reads this month, but I had been waiting to purchase this because when I read the synopsis and saw some feedback on it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna love that. And I also am a mood reader and I need to read it at the right time to like make sure I'm getting the best experience out of it. I did that with this book. It did not fail me whatsoever and going into this book I think you need to have an open mind you need to just kind of give yourself to the experience and feel what you feel I'm not gonna go into what it's about and everything because I literally write about all the books I read everywhere Goodreads Instagram WordPress all the things so this isn't a wrap up anymore. It's just my favorite book. This is my favorite book of January. And I think you should read it. I've had coffee. <laughs> On to the next less bookish thing, but somewhat bookish thing has been bullet journaling. And I don't bullet journal in like the typical way with like weekly spreads and use it as a planner. It's mostly bookish related and things of that nature. And if you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, that's like my favorite place to make friends. Um, I went through my bullet journal caddy and named where I got everything and what I used the most of. This is a newer thing for me so it's pretty exciting and I'm super into it. I already shared some pages on Instagram but this is my one that I'm most excited about. It's my TBR bookshelf. It's clearly unfinished but I can't wait to fill it in because the idea of it just like really excites me. <sighs> Send help. I also highly recommend watching some of the like plan with me bullet journal videos on YouTube. They're really relaxing, really like aesthetically pleasing. So good. And now my favorite pin! I already showed it in the like vlog thing that I did, 
but it's still, it's just so cute. I love the idea of like, please kill my enemies. That dark side stuff though, I'll link their shop down below, but I got it at Comics Experience in San Francisco. So cute. Favorite movie. Z this month, favorite movies. Because I have two, I could not, I can't pick one, I'm sorry. The two movies are Call Me By Your Name and Lady Bird. And, oh, they're just both so good. <laughs> I will say, I think, oh, I think because I, like, identified with it a little bit more and, like, feel that teen angst still, that Lady Bird was, like, just a little bit better to me, but barely. These are both so good. And just to go along with that, my favorite music for this month has definitely been the soundtrack for Call Me By Your Name. It like meets all my needs. It has like the feelings, it has the bops, I'm here for it, and I highly recommend it even if you didn't see the movie, though you may be missing like a little bit of the feelings piece of it. So good, highly recommended, could go on for days talking about both. In somewhat bookish favorites, I have a friend on Instagram that recently shared a cookbook that looked interesting to me. Her name's Lauren, I'll link her down below. And it is this cookbook. And this is something that I've set as a goal for this year that we've been like weekly meal planning and prepping and we really need to get like outside of our comfort zone because uh, we definitely have like a staple five to seven meals that we just kind of rotate and because we get bored of them we end up like convincing ourselves we should just go out and eat because then we'll try something new and it'll be different whereas like we really should be cooking something new so that's what this is and I love it it has a lot of great little gems in it I posted about it on Instagram and asked for recommendations and I got a ton of great ones so I highly recommend checking that out if you're like on the market for them too. Now I'm gonna talk about hair and makeup things because that's what you're totally here for. <laughs> These are the things I get the questions about most. So I'm just gonna cover some of the things that I like, especially this month. Let's talk about hair things. I have recently gone silverish and it's high maintenance. <laughs> so I have like the best hairdresser in the world. Her name's Courtney. If you live near Carlsbad, I will link her shop down below. It is by far the place I recommend. She's so real, so sweet, and like straight up. I currently live in Berkeley and I still wait for when I go home to go see her because trust nobody else. The two hair things I recommend, first one, is not like just a January favorite, but is a favorite for sure. And it applies to January because I definitely didn't put it down. It's Unite's Leave-In Conditioner. Every single time I wash my hair, I put this in my hair and it is so good. It like smells fantastic, feels fantastic. Is the main thing I attribute any softness my hair still has to. So it looks like that. Secondly, a new product to me this month, but has definitely kept the silver hair going, is, is this purple toning mask by Pravana. You see that? Oh, it's so good. And it's not like crazy, it doesn't smell weird. Pretty just straight up, you shampoo your hair like normal, put that on afterwards, leave it for as long as you possibly can. It says five minutes, but hold on. Just like put it in your hair and do all your other stuff in the shower and then rinse it out because oh it's so good and it like has kept my hair the way I've wanted it for a pretty good amount of time. Lastly is my makeup things which uh, n not everyone's here for. I've recently learned some tricks that I cannot take credit for. It is purely my mom, Kim, looking at you. Do you guys know what strobing is? Because who even was I before this? When you put on primer, then foundation, before you put on any sort of setting powder, I have a few different ones, but it's like a, essentially almost like a cream pre-highlight, but I use Becca's Backlight Priming Filter. 
yeah, that's not going to focus for the life of me. But you just like dab it here, dab it around, and it like looks pretty in that moment, and then you put powder on over it, and then you're like, oh no, I just lost all the pretty, and it's, uh, it's gone, but it's not gone, don't you fret. You then follow up with whatever highlighter you like. Currently, I'm using this like, like there's no other highlighter on the planet, but it's Blissful by Ofra, and you put it on over it, and it just like, uh, oh my, it's like, I can't even, it's the, a game changer, life changer, by far like the best thing ever. But then, you come in with the setting spray from Ofra, and then your face looks like a baby's face, but perfectly makeuped. It is the best. Those are all the things I have. I appreciate you sticking around and watching this newer type of video. Totally open to feedback. I had a lot of fun filming it. It was no shade, way more fun than filming a wrap up. Um, but I also know this isn't for everyone, so if it's not, I will see you in another video, hopefully. But I will say once again, don't fret if you're looking for reviews on all the books I read this month. I thoroughly review them all on Goodreads. If I really had feelings about it, they're on my WordPress for sure. All of those things are always linked below. If you have any questions or have any recommendations from your favorites from this month, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.